They want you to fail. They want you to give up. They don't care about you. They don't care about nothing you do. They don't give a fuck about you. Just keep grinding. Just keep grinding. Back in my head. Damn, when this shit gonna end? When it's gonna end? When I'm gonna be respected? Just happen repeatedly. Grind, grind. Work, 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 work. Fuck, man. It's time to be the great. How everybody doing, man? I'm Davian Omar, man. God, Omar, man. Listen, it's my second every time doing this shit. Like I said, once again, a disclaimer. I don't need a pop-up, no message on the screen. I am not a professional comedian. Try to be a comedian. This is just how I express myself. I just have the comedian's love language when it comes to expressing my pain and some of the some crazy shit that happened in my life, man. So... <laughs> This time, man, we're going to be talking about the lockdown. All right. So, we're going to make this snappy. Make this as fast as possible. We're going to get into it. All right, let's go. All right. So, listen, man. <laughs> loosen up. I'm going to loosen up. Listen, man. First take, first take. This is not scripted. It's not scripted. I repeat, this is not scripted. All right, man. So, listen. I wonder why. White folks, man. When you be when you be in the elevator with your chick, right? This is a little scenario right here for you. You be in the elevator with your chick, okay? Why the first thing that come on their mind is to ask your girl how the weather is. And listen, my nigga, listen. He ain't talking about the one outside. God. He talking about down there. So I'm just over, I'm over driving the conversation. I'm just sitting there just listening to see what's going on. And then I had the feeling. She started feeling herself down there. I'm like, hold on, hold on, baby, hold on. What type of reeds do these white people have? He, 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 these niggas is a different breed. I'm like, so you had the nerve to ask me, what's my bitch temperature in my face? And she's going to tell you she down there feeling this shit. I'm like, hold on, bitch. I'm just down there two seconds ago. Shit. It was, it was warm, warm. What this nigga want? Florida heat? Like, damn. I'm over here. Oh, man. God damn. And that's what I'll tell you. I'll be careful, man. White people can keep a relationship, man. But black people can't keep one for shit. We, we, can't, we can't take accountability for nothing, bro. And that's a fucking fact, bro. I'm, I'm being 100. We can't take accountability for nothing. It'd be a fat nigga in your couch. He drunk all the milk. Man, who drunk the milk, man? That nigga gonna blame it on the next nigga. He knew he drunk the milk. Just take accountability. Like, that's just us black people, though. We just like, oh. So I'm gonna drink this nigga milk. I don't give a fuck. As soon as a nigga asks you, you all freeze up and shit. You scared. Oh, no, nah, it was him, too. Oh, no, nah, nigga. See? Got your stupid ass, nigga. That's, man, men can take some accountability for black people. White people, I mean, uh, my black queens, no. No, let me tell you some scenarios, nigga. Shit, you niggas don't peep, but I peep, nigga. Let me tell you some shit. <laughs> let me tell you some shit, man. They get mad at us niggas for having a $15. $15 gym membership, nigga. Like, $15, 15 consecutive dollars, nigga. They want to go out to eat every day for two meals. That's $100. For two meals. Let me, let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. They get mad at us niggas for having a gym membership, getting supplements, getting protein powder. She want to go out to eat every day. Two meals is $100. Let me say it again. They get mad for having a gym membership. <laughs> they get mad as for taking care of herself, but they want to go out to eat every day. Two meals is $100. Okay, so now y'all niggas hear me. Y'all hear me now. It's some bullshit. I'm, I'm just keeping it on it. It's just some bullshit. I don't give a fuck what nobody think. Ain't wife finna tell me how to spend my money. And I, I'm just saying that the kindness of my heart. 
I love my family. Uh, love my females. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. I love my beautiful females. I talk to my female friends, my females, period. I love them. But ain't nobody gonna tell me how to spend my money. All right? <laughs> you niggas be letting them can manage your whole life. Like, I just don't understand where you niggas is coming from. So you cancel your gym membership. You go out to eat every day. That's a hundred dollars. You get fat. You were you stuck at some job and then you wonder where your life went. Not me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, man. Listen, that's what they like about uh, dudes like me. We don't care. We cheap. Save a lot of money, we got a lot of money, we do a lot of things. Something a lot of you niggas can't do. But yeah, let's get into it. All right. So I just want to clear that air up for you seven niggas. You're not allowed until 2024. Don't talk to me. Not dabbing you, none of you niggas up. I'm not answering my motherfucking phone this year. Do not call me. I'm not answering. I don't want to talk to nobody. In my opinion, everybody is a distraction in some way, somehow. They try to tell you what's on their plate. Or try to call themselves checking up on you, but it's just having a way to think of you and all that shit, man. Fuck all that shit this year. Let me tell you some real shit. I know you niggas like to make y'all New Year's resolutions. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Throw down the drink. Let me tell you one thing you need to keep. You need to keep a hope and a dream, nigga. That's all you need. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. So listen to this. God! All right? <laughs> man. Man, I miss y'all niggas, man. It's just talking my shit before I get started. All right. I ain't even say no shit yet, man. Thank you for tuning in. I hope I just make none of y'all niggas laugh. So, boom. All right, nigga, listen. I was on lockdown, man. Yes. Lockdown. Not solitary confinement. Not jail. Not prison. Not juvenile hall. Believe it or not. The hospital, nigga. Yes, the hospital. All right, so let me tell you a little something about the hospital. It's the second right-hand thing to jail. If it wasn't the second right-hand thing to jail, why do they send prisoners there, prisoners there when they get, get hurt and shit? They could get supplies in the jail, so that's the wrong answer. They could get supplies in the prison, that's the wrong answer. Because it's like jail. It's literally still in jail. That's the reason why they send juvenile delinquents to the hospital. They send prisoners, jail, Death row inmates all still to the hospital because it's still jail. So, yes, nigga, I was stuck in the hospital. Feel like solitary confinement. <clears throat> stuck. It's nothing. The room's all fucking black. TV. That bitch barely worked. It be skipping out. Rusty, busted eyes, sofas. I had to sleep on. My back is busted. Had to sleep in the whole fucking day just so I could feel better. Yes. That. And let me tell y'all about this googly eye motherfucker. All right. So this nigga come busting in the room, four eyes. Ugly looking motherfucker. This motherfucker had a nerd trying to, he trying to pin my mama on some motherfucking painkillers. I looked at this nigga, I said, uh-uh. Not the shit you be taking, nigga. This nigga eyes, one like this and one like this. This nigga eye, he doing this and shit. I was like, nigga, how are you still doing that with the glasses on, nigga? What the fuck is going on? I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm over here in the bed. I'm over here in the bed leaning like this. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's like, please, doctor, we got to talk about this, nigga. We can't get my mama the shit you been on, nigga, because your eye look like it's about to pop out the socket. I'm like, no, doctor, please listen to me. Dr. Hamilton, Dr. Ham. Doc I'm like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just sitting here thinking. I'm like, the same time, this nigga, this nigga stink. I'm like, that's a double hell no. I don't care what none of you niggas say. I'm not trusting no doctors with my peoples. If you don't look to, you don't look good, or or if you stay. Like, that's the two biggest withdrawals ever, nigga. That's the two biggest withdrawals ever. And how can you expect somebody to be mad? Y'all can't be trusted, nigga. Y'all stay. It's like this big hot dog motherfucker. I'm not making this up. He came in here. He was housekeeping, all right? 
This motherfucker came in here. He is housekeeping. This motherfucker. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Listen. I don't give a fuck. This big hot dog eating motherfucker. He came up in here, man. He was housekeeper. This nigga big as fuck. I'm like, this nigga big. Not like muscle big like me. That nigga was big. Like, I don't know. That nigga, like, he could eat. He could win in a hot dog eating contest or some shit. That nigga, that, that, that nigga was big. I'm, I'm keeping it honey. He was a big ass nigga. So look, man. Big hot dog eating motherfucker come in here sweeping. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Basically saying, if you could do this, anybody else could do this, right? That's, that's my thought process. I'm, I'm just thinking about some motherfuckers I know. You know what I'm saying? I could probably put on. They still being bums and shit. I could probably put on whatever. And then I, I'm just thinking to myself. I swear I wasn't tripping. So as soon as this nigga leave the room, right? As soon as he leave the room. I'm sorry. This this like information just now receiving in my head. I'm just so fucking confused. Because now that I put two two together that I'm not in that motherfucking hospital, I can start thinking a little better now. I ain't never seen my mom in pain, surgery so bad. I seen her big ass hop on that motherfucking hospital bed so quick. Like a dead puppy, your ass like this. I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. What the fuck going on? She was like, that big ass nigga stank. Damn. I'm just sitting here thinking like, shit, if that was one of us on the motherfucking floor or something, we pass out. You taking your sweet ass time getting up. But you, but your ass gonna get up on that bed like it wasn't nothing, huh? Just because the motherfucking stink? Man, what if my knee broke out? What if my knee went bad? Shit. Still looking at us and shit. <laughs> Still looking at us and shit like we, like we stupid or retarded. I was like, I don't understand black people, man. You motherfuckers be in pain, y'all be hurting. Act like y'all handicapped. Black people get in the hospital, act like they handicapped. Can't do nothing but damn well when they're at home. These niggas up running around jogging. Doing a basketball jail practice in their motherfucking room. Run to that side of the wall. One, two, three. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So the doctor, come on. Yes, doctor, I'm sick, doctor. Yes, I'm sick, doctor. Please help a nigga. So, doctor, 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 please help a nigga. Get me on this. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm like, there's some nigga shit, man. Like, this, this some super nigga shit. I'm like, this shit is unfucking believable, man. And I got some, I got some, I got some family members. Be on Dr. Cross Eye, man. He gonna be asking that nigga what he be on. I'm pretty sure they be still going up to that uh, that, uh hospital I be came from. They gonna be asking what that nigga what he be on, man. That nigga, oh, I'm not lying. You won't, you can't miss him. This eye like this. Is that eye like this? And then that motherfucker just blinking at the same time like this. I'm like, oh shit. I'm over here confused, man. Black people, black people confused. You can't predict a black person, bro. A black person always gonna be doing something not supposed to be doing. But then that's necessarily that doesn't mean they're doing something they're not supposed to really be doing. So you can't. It's black people. You can't predict black people, bro. That's a fact, man. Shit. All right, man. So look, let me tell you about this fucking one time, man. God damn. Man, black people always want to like to be in your business. You know what I'm saying? Say all this, man. Last time I had a real relationship was about like three, four years ago. Till the, ever since then, I got friends. I fuck around. Who don't fuck around? Let's be my honey. Who do not fuck around? Everybody fuck around. You human beings. We gotta we gotta do shit to learn and you know receive type shit. Fucking around. So keep in mind, I'm in the hospital. A couple days, four or five days, right? Boom. Get calls. My friends. They like that. My my, my friends. You you like that? You feel me? Tell me why one of these bitches had called me. I don't play. I don't play. I don't. I'm like, oh, bitch, what, bitch, what, what this bitch talking about? I'm like, hold on, bitch. I started, I started getting up. I'm out the, you feel me? To the phone and shit. I'm like, looking at the dodge. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with this bitch? This bitch answered the phone throwing jabs. She's like, oh, I'm like, just, I'm like, what the fuck this bitch on? 
know what this bitch gonna say. You know I only let the phone ring three times. Why you keep playing with me? I said, bitch, why you call twice? Ain't nobody asked you to call twice. Hey. My mom getting up, looking on cross eyed and shit. I'm talking about who that on the phone right there. I'm like, oh shit. Now I gotta tell her about another one. My brother always look at me. He's like, nigga, every time I talk to you, you talk to a different bitch. I'm like, nigga, that ain't my fault, bro. When you when you not with somebody, people have to tend to be doing some fuck shit to you somehow, some way. You can't get mad at me for doing me when you're doing you. That's the one I'm saying, man. These bitches want the best of both worlds, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm not lying, bro. I'm not lying. Y'all niggas be already getting scammed too, bro. Y'all be sitting here in a talking stage with this bitch and this bitch already fucking the NBA nigga, man. Wasting your time. I'm not trying to compare us regular niggas to LeBron's and Michael Jordan's, but, man. These bitches always looking at the next option when y'all in a relationship. That shit, that shit analyzed. It's like a stock pick, bro. You know how you picking out stocks, nigga? A lot of y'all niggas, y'all, a lot of y'all stupid niggas don't know about stocks. When you picking out stocks, you gonna analyze and research and then you're going to pick that stock and what you do is invest money into it. That's what she do to us as niggas. All females. They do that to niggas. So once she done with you, she's going to the better version of you, nigga. Not lying. You can't be mad at her, nigga. Because we downgrade. <laughs> niggas, tend to, niggas tend to downgrade, bro. We don't upgrade the bitches. We downgrade bitches, man. Not lying. We downgrade bitches. Tell y'all real shit, man. Tell y'all a story, man. You know what I'm saying? Loving. Love is real, man. Self love. That's what I believe in, man. If y'all know, I'm a huge believer in self love, man. Like recently, I've been going through a lot of shit right now. I feel like if I get this shit off my mind, I could be able to deliver better. Going through a lot of shit on my mind right now, man. A lot of shit going on, man. It's life, man. You're going to go through some shit, man. Self mastery, self love, self discipline. So stay ten toes with yourself. Fuck with anybody else, stand. <clears throat> you feel me? So I'm gonna deliver this, man. <sighs> so we in the hospital, man. I see a nigga look a little fat, right? That's not coincidental, man. How the fuck is a hospital healthy, nigga? How? This shit meant for you to fail, nigga. I was in the hospital, all they had was Wendy's in the cafe that only sell Chinese food and shit, nigga. I was pissed. Listen. The niggas, I think the niggas seen me down there four or five times that day. Order a four for four or something, 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 boom, boom, boom. You said, all right, cool. Came back down two hours later. He said, nigga, I just seen you. I'm like, nigga, damn. Y'all know y'all only got Wendy's in this motherfucker, right? This nigga over here looking at me crazy. I'm like, nigga, don't do that shit, cuz. I said, don't, don't. Don't, don't do that shit, man. Like, listen. Nigga got fat as fuck, man. If I gain seven pounds, I, I just hop on that skill, man. It said I'm 172, nigga. My original weight for getting my perfect physique is 165, nigga. Do the math yourself, nigga. Feel me? Why well, how the fuck a hospital healthy? So ain't nothing but big linebacker bitches in there. And these bitches strong as fuck. These bitches buff. One bitch, but one bitch big. Big as fuck. She like this. Walking through the hallway. The bitch hit me. I said, oh, shit. I got back up. She's there looking at me. I'm looking at the big bitch. I'm looking like this bitch, like six five. I'm like, I'm like, I don't hit bitches, but I hit, I hit, I hit nigga looking bitches, bitch. I was like, don't bump it to me again like that. Uh oh, I'm telling you, nigga. I'll call my mom, nigga. You feel me? This big bitch. Man, this bitch was big. She, she threw my little ass, nigga. My five, my five six ass, man. She, she, my ass flew across the, across the room. This big bitch, man. I'm like, oh, no. It's like, I'm stuck in the hospital. I already found a courtyard bully. I'm like, this big bitch. She was big. And the bitch was sitting there looking at me the whole time. I'm looking at this big bitch. I'm looking like this. We walking by each other. I'm looking like this. I'm like, go ahead, swing. Bitch, swing. Bitch, swing. I want you to. Shit. Tired, man. When you be short your whole day, I'm like, you be tired of certain shit. You be tired of niggas telling you to grow. Nigga, how the fuck I'm gonna grow, nigga? Nigga, fuck I'm supposed to do? Get some get some performance surgery? Get athlete, nigga, some height? 
Imagine you come 6'5 on a fucking night. Nigga, how the fuck I'm gonna grow? When niggas look at that short, niggas like, nigga, grow. Nigga, how? Tell me the trick. Nigga, you 6'5. Tell me the trick. What am I supposed to do? Some special treasures and shit? Nigga, tell me. Damn. We tired of you niggas saying that shit, nigga. Show a short brother something. Damn. And you fat bitches. How the fuck a fat bitch gonna wanna type? How? Bitch, you eat McDonald's every day. That's a perfect date with a hood nigga. We don't care. Four for four ain't nothing. Eight dollars. Get you one, get me one. And how are you skinny bitches going to be mad about going to a certain spot? You not even going to eat anyway. You skinny. You not going to eat. I'm sorry. You not going to eat. Bitch, man, these bitches going Benny Hunter every day. Bitch, you know how many Benny Hunter goes? You feel me? I'm talking about every day. I'm not talking about for one meal, nigga. What, what, what nigga can't afford one meal at Benny Hunter? I'm not saying that. Listen, little nigga. Before y'all start judging, like, oh, he a broke nigga. No, bitch. You a stupid nigga for doing it. You know how much a meal costs at Benny Hunter every day? Bro. My nigga. It's a grocery store for a reason, bro. That's a that's a once every weekend type shit right there. Experience, bro. Big G. You feel me? You can just want Benny Hunter every day. You ain't gonna finish the meal. Bitch, if I'm paying for it, look on the bitch plate. She got two strippers. So I'm, like, uh -uh, I'm, finished. I'm like, bitch, you want to finish that strip? Fuck wrong with you? That's twenty dollars a strip. Fuck wrong with that bitch? She tripping. Especially eating it every day. I'm gonna say that every single day. When she get the burger, bitch, you want to finish that burger? She get the pizza, you want to finish that motherfucking pizza? Do how my mama used to do. Do just like that. Nah, nigga, finish it. Don't know why. Nah, nigga, finish it. Just like that. I don't care about none of that. Yeah, just like that. You can call people cheap, but I don't care. Shit. That's what they go to the grocery store for, man. You can eat every day. Restaurants is for the experience, bro. Y'all niggas should literally go for the food. I ain't never seen so many food critic videos in my life. You got my boy Keith Lee. Shout out to Keith Lee. You got my nigga Peaks 100. You know what I'm saying? They allowed to do this. Because these niggas actually getting paid for eating the food. Nigga, you don't. So why is you spending millions of dollars on fucking food daily? You niggas go to four different, three different restaurants. I niggas have Thanksgiving daily. I'm like, what generation we live in? What the fuck? I'm like, y'all niggas be eating. I ain't never seen no niggas eat like that. I'm like, oh, man. Be the big linebacker bitches on, on TikTok? I be seeing them all the time. Don't blame me. I don't watch it. My sister be sending it to me. I be like, damn, sis. I'm like, these big bitches, they can knock somebody out. They don't need no nigga. They right. Keep protesting. <laughs> y'all don't need no nigga. No nigga wants you either. Shit, you get the box anywhere. I don't know why y'all niggas be settling for them. These motherfuckers, they, they, they the bottom of the barrel. They the dirt in the motherfucking barrel, literally. Y'all be settling for them too. I can't, I can't do that. Come on. They the dirt in the barrel too. I can't settle for that shit. Oh, my fault. Come on, sit down. Let it dirt the barrel too. I can't settle for that shit. I be trying to figure it out, man. I be like, damn, I be so confused, man. But for my workout niggas, man, this one thing, this personal advice I'm gonna give y'all. Stop thinking y'all better than everybody, okay? Listen, I went through that little phase, but I've been working out a little longer than all y'all. I know, right? Oh, this nigga haven't been working out. He fat. Look at him. Testify, arms, strength. Look, at, look, he just got arms. That's all he got. Listen, nigga, when niggas is bloated, Oh, you got nothing but arms, did you? But the thing between me and you is I'm not scared to show my body, okay? The difference between me and you is I work harder than you. I could do what I want. I could eat what I want because I, I'm stricter on the diet than you. You feel me? It's just that I know how to bounce back for different shit. You niggas don't know how to bounce back. I be seeing y'all niggas on Instagram having a whole pack of cookies, whole pack of brownies and shit, pancakes on top of that, some little eggs, some scramble, some scramble this and that. See a nigga with fresh toast. French toast, French toast, cinnamon crush, French toast. I'm like, y'all niggas need to slow the fuck down. And then on top of that, y'all niggas need to figure out some skin routine for y'all face. Because every time I see my fit brothers, y'all niggas be having bumps all over your fucking face right here. And that's the sign of your diet. Clean your fucking diet up, nigga. Shit, every time I see y'all niggas, when y'all niggas be talking like, yeah, bro, I live 240, y'all be like, bitch, die, 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 die. You're like, what the fuck you doing? I said, nigga, I'm... I'm 
ducking and uh, ducking and weaving. Your fucking pimples on your face is popping, nigga. I'm, uh, uh. Oh yeah, uh, uh. You know what I'm saying? I'm up here. I'm getting up and through up in that motherfucker. Why like, no motherfucking pimples? I don't want that pimple juice on me, nigga. Ah, scrub ah! Shit. I got shot. Mama coming around. What the fuck wrong with you? So this nigga pimple juice got on me. So I need to get it. I need to bathe for three weeks straight. Hot water steaming. Butt booty hot water, nigga. You feel me? Y'all niggas need y'all need to figure out something for your face. Your face skin. Y'all niggas. Y'all ain't shape. But y'all diet is shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's a real shit. Also this, man. I don't know what y'all niggas, I don't know what y'all brothers prefer, man, but like, my bitch is slave black. Slave black, nigga. Like, slave black. You know what I'm saying? When you turn the light off, you can't see shit, nigga. She gotta wear all white every night. That's my type. I like that shit, nigga. I be going crazy, you feel me? And I'm being dead ass, too, for you niggas like that jokes. Dead ass. Every time the bitch cut off the light, I'm like, so grab me, I'm not, I'm gonna shoot the bitch. I don't know what that is. You didn't hear that, but I don't know what that is. No, don't be scaring me like that. The bitch tried to wear brown one time. I look at the bitch and try to take it off. Match her skin tone too much. She took down that fence. She left. She ain't called me. She ain't talked to me in two weeks. I don't give a fuck, but listen. Tell her I love her. She came back. I was like, baby, this time, just bring all white clothes. We don't need all that brown and the, nah, I can't say black around her. She get too mad, because every time I say black one of the homies, she think I'm talking about her. She not lying, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I, I really do like my bitch slave black, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with slave black. Shout out to our ancestors, our queens, man. You know what I'm saying? We got we got a few that carry over over here. That's slave black, man. They need some love, too. Y'all niggas be on there clowning them all. This bitch look like under the bed. That bitch gonna be under my bed for real. So is my mama busting in my room. Boy, what the hell you in here doing? Had the baby Joker jaws on and shit, nigga. Had the little mustache on there. And all that. With the little straps on it. I was like, shit, I'm in here playing Beagle, mom. Twister. And checkers on top of that. Because I check make your ass. Because you really catch me. You feel me? So you niggas need to know the difference. Stop settling with bitches you really, you really don't want to be with. Let me tell you why. If you really don't want to be with her, she really don't want to be with you. And that's the real, because females are not stupid. They only play stupid. And y'all niggas take that shit in literally. They don't, they're not stupid, bro. They know what's going on, my nigga. Y'all take that shit literally. Like that ass. I take that literally, bro. If you don't want to be with a chick, she would know that you don't want to be with her, bro. Why is you wasting your time trying to prove to this chick that you want to be with her? That don't make sense. It's like you niggas go out to, y'all go out to dinner. Y'all run, you run to one of the homies, hey, bro, what's up? Who you with, friend? Y'all niggas say that, quit. But look, when she say that shit to you, you get mad. Like, damn, you ain't here thinking your mind. This ugly bitch just dug me. I'm the finest nigga she ever been with. That's the first thing you say. Then y'all niggas get jealous that y'all ain't liking the bitch. It's all a trick. Y'all niggas is stupid. I'm tired of y'all niggas. I don't hang with y'all niggas, man. Damn, I hate when niggas come to me asking for bitch advice, bro. Because y'all don't like my ideas. Because I'm too wrong, too littered. I get on the phone and tell the bitch how I feel. Y'all niggas hate that. Y'all niggas think that shit's emotional. Y'all think that shit's soft. Y'all think that's gay. And you think that y'all y'all exposed to too much information. I be on the phone like, bitch, I love you. She like, what? Say it again. My homegirls didn't hear you. I say, bitch, I love you. The bitch hang up. She ain't never called back either. I'm like, damn. I was like, damn, being too honest, it ain't gonna work. What What's gonna work then? I'm trying to figure out what the fuck gonna work. Call the next bitch I'm on the phone with. I'm like, I was like, we get in the hotel, and before you say no, say no. And the bitch start laughing. And I ain't still hearing that bitch. I don't know. Yeah! You feel me? See, my game is in literally, bro. I'll be honest, I don't give a fuck. You can talk to me, I don't talk to nobody, I don't fuck with nobody. You feel me? That's just my memo, man. I'm, I'm a solo person, man. I'm Davian no more. I don't want a great, greatest home already. You feel me? Yeah, nigga. Well, let's get back to being on lockdown, nigga. Man, I feel like you about to fucking die in this bitch. See all this energy I had, nigga? I was like a fly in there. I couldn't do it, man. I was folding. 
losing human contact for four days, four or five days, my nigga. Four or five days. I came out, nigga. Forgot what homies was. I forgot what nigga was. Bro, that was what's good. My nigga I had to look at myself, huh? What you call me? The homie like, what the fuck wrong with you? I said, nigga, who is you? I forgot all human contact, nigga. The homie start getting mad. Thought I ain't fuck with him no more. He was like, bro, what the fuck, man? Don't do that shit to me again. I'm like, oh, my fuck, huh? I said, nigga, you know where I was at, nigga? Solitary confinement, nigga. He's like, literally? I said, no, nah, nigga, I was in the hospital, nigga. He's like, oh, that's the same thing. I'm like, see, all black people agree on that. We all hate hospitals. Y'all niggas think we hate hospitals for the wrong reason. We all hate hospitals because of all, uh, because of the food and, uh, <laughs> right there, y'all think we hit hospitals because of the rooms, the food. Nigga, we hit hospitals because of the motherfucking needles, nigga. Where my black niggas at? Come on. Where my black niggas at? We hate hospitals because of the motherfucking needles, nigga. I don't care about no pills you give me. I don't give a fuck about no surgeries. Nigga, don't stick no needle in me while I'm awake. I will fucking pass out. I'll hide under the motherfucking couch like a little kid, man. I'm being for real. I do not do needles, nigga. Keep that shit to yourself. I can't have nothing to talk about. Niggas told me. I see them niggas cut my mama open, nigga. I almost fucking died a tear. I had to, had, to, had to put the uh, had to put myself in uh surgery gear, nigga. I couldn't be, I couldn't be, I couldn't be Davian no more, man. I had to be, I had to be uh son Davian, man. I, I was about to, I was about to knock one of them bitches out, man. They just up there, these niggas, these grown ass men up here. Come playing in my mama's arm, man. Just sitting there cutting her open, man. How the fuck you think I feel about that shit, bro? Feel me? Nobody wanna sit there and see their mama get cut open, man. Like they a fucking toy or some shit. That shit break your motherfucking heart in there. A risk of cutting in one of her fucking veins. She got a blood leaking from her fucking body. Nobody would know. You feel me? I don't play like that. So I had to put myself in sun mode, man. I had to stay quiet, not talk as much. Just mind my business. Just be there just to help out, man. That shit break my soul, man. Anyways, man. Speedy recovery to moms. Speedy recovery to everybody out there that's in hospitals right now. Any situation, every situation. Hope y'all feel better. If you didn't, if you got family that didn't make it in this new year, God rest his soul, man. I'm David No More. I love y'all niggas. Hey, and I'm going, man. Y'all niggas be safe. Man. 100. This shit deep, man. I ain't about to cry, nigga. It's just that. Oh, this mucus stuck up here. Feel me? That's what it sound like I'm about to cry. But yeah, I love y'all, man. I'm Davian No More. I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. 100. Oh.